shit. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. It's a good question. Don't report me. Greetings and salutations. Uh, thank you all for tuning in today. Uh, we're going to work some more on Pets Be Honest so we can track uh, Cheyenne's, Cheyenne's health. Um, so last time, let me get a situated over here. Last time, what all did we build? Well, we started building out um, load page. So we started building out our add event screen based off of these wonderful, lovely, Figma mock-ups. So 
you can see over here. Oh, 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 I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Uh, so this was the mock-up that we're basing our work off of. Um, it's heavily inspired by Twitter in particular. Um, not all features do we have support for at this time. So the focus is just on the, the date picker, adding notes, and then adding a photo here. Um, and so if we go look at what we have, well, first let's log in. I might need to restart my server. Might be angry. It is definitely angry because I closed it. So let's fix that. Once again, Pets Be Honest uh, is built using Quasar on the front end, which is a Vue framework. And then on the back end, we're using uh, Django, Django Rust framework specifically. So my partner Brian has rebuilt our backend in Django Rust framework, and now I'm going through and updating our U UI to talk to the backend. And in the process, I am uh, doing some design tweaks based off of some of these wonderful mockups we have. And then today, I want to focus on our calendar page where we show the list of events because um, it's pretty broken right now. And I think we can delete a lot of code. And deleting code is always the best. Best way to fix bugs, delete the code. No code, no bugs. Build, build, build. I need a new computer, so it'll build faster. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Voila. Cool. Let's try this again. All right, cool. So we're logged in, and our user Topcat has two pets, Bearton and St. Bujo. Um, there is a bug here. It's interesting we're missing some of the UI, which suggests that we're logged out. So I'm just going to re-log re in. I need to work on the uh, authentication flow. It's pretty, pretty not good. Pretty terrible. No! Hey, there we go. So this down here was missing at the bottom, and then we're missing the setting stuff. Uh, the truth is that we need to redo all this UI, but hey, one thing at a time. Um, so this is the view that we're going to be working on in a couple minutes here. Uh, but just to review the changes we made. So here is our new add event UI. Um, since the last stream, I've updated the top here. So we have our, our back button um, and then our submit button. Uh, we have our date picker widget. We can start typing. I think I had a test note. Let's go find that. That is not it. Oh, I guess I, oh, no, no, no. I know where it is. I know where I put that handy dandy note. Boom, there it is. Well, let's put that in there. Cool, cool. Let's add a little photo. <laughs> Balls because they're not balls. Sorry, highball. Highball some good stuff. It is uh, keeping me awake today. I've been up since four four a.m. this morning and uh, only got about a fifteen minute nap before this. So, so this is. Uh... Oops. Um, but yeah, so our new event UI looks good. Let's submit this. Uh oh, 
Okay, it worked. Awesome. Now the problem is, is we do not see any events here. Uh, it also doesn't know about our pets. Um, so we need to fix that. And actually, if we look at the console here, we have a bunch of beautiful red errors. All sorts of goodness here. The good news is, is I think we can delete pretty much all this. So maybe if we're lucky. So let's go ahead and start cleaning this stuff up. Oops. I have too many windows. Curly AA, C. Butlin. Do you want vets to be honest? I'll transfer. <laughs> It's all right. We're probably uh, switching to even another name once we uh, get this in a good good spot. So, but let's be honest, is amazing, and Chris is uh, the inspiration behind uh, the current current name. Let's be honest. Uh, but I think this is only a temp temp name. We got a better name. Not really. This is a really great name own all the domains uh do you have the rights to vets be honest xxx because that's the one we really care about <laughs> nice yeah no you're, you're you make a good point uh chris by the way uh put together a really awesome project um to help COVID 19 um, help help businesses specifically in the Detroit area that are negatively affected by COVID-19. It's called Tip Detroit, tipdetroit.com. Uh, he actually participated in a global hackathon and was one of the, the top uh, selected projects uh, out of 15, 1,500 that were submitted. So go, uh, go to tipdetroit.com, check out his work, and if you're in the Detroit area, make sure you support the local businesses. I myself and Curly AA both both helped a little bit, but it was it was really all Chris. Just glad to glad to do what we can. All right, so we are. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm just happy to to be along for the ride and and uh, learn from you. Uh, Chris is a really bright guy and just so so blessed to to get the opportunity to work with them so thank you chris yeah dota time i want to i want to join some dota but i gotta work unfortunately so let's pull up let's get rid of all this stuff i don't care about all this stuff let's pull up calendar calendar page calendar view that sounds great page calendar drf view i think that's what we're looking at here uh, and in fact, um, so page counter DRF, if we want, should be, use, be able to use our view inspector and find, oh, that is interesting. Well, ideally our components have names, so we'd be able to see that here, but we did not name our component, so it is not showing up. That's okay. What is this Jiffy that Chris sent? Oh, yeah. <laughs> love it, love it. <laughs> um, all right, so kind of one of the first things we might want to do is just get the events hooked back up because if you see here, we, uh, we have all these errors, so we want to clean those up. Action items. So when our component mounts, we get pet events, and then we format these events for the calendar. Uh, and then right now we've hard coded some of this. 
So our, our events are going to have uh, a color and an icon associated with them, um, depending on the category. Right now, category is kind of taking a back, back seat. Um, so we're going to just focus on these hard-coded values here. Um, So I am confused. Okay. Maybe we don't need, do we need a label or a title? Hmm. We're duplicating some of this logic we have down below, but for now, we do what we got to do. All right, I broke something. That's always fun. What? Oh, it's because I forgot to comment these out. One of our good friend Jason will join us for the stream today. Love me some Jason. Yes, we will be dealing with lots of Jason today. Thank you, Jason, for uh, all the good times and formatting the data in a way that we can understand. Hey, cool. So basically... We had a problem here where we had this uh, map that's supposed to take the event category and map it to a label. And that was uh, not working correctly. So if we just comment that out and hard code everything, now we can see our events. They're showing up on the days. We can scroll through them. Pretty cool. Ooh, we have timestamps now. Yeah, we used to not have timestamps before. So what happens if we just get rid of title? Oh. Oh, actually, that's okay. Um, so this events here is affecting the calendar and this events down here is affecting these cards, which is not ideal. We'd wanna use the same events in both places. Hmm. It's interesting that when we select a day, it does not seem. It does not seem to like actually show that it's selected. That's kind of frustrating. It looks like we might have some bugs here. Hmm. So I'm going to comment this out. Comment this out as well. Oh, hey. You're supposed to be coming out too. Go away. What we probably want to do is for the calendar itself only only show a line if that day has events and then yeah so we probably don't need like multiple lines per event that's probably the the wrong way to do this um, I think Basecamp has 
a pretty good simple calendar. Let's see here. Yeah, I like Basecamp where they just have a dot here. Makes it really easy. Hello, Dahlia Coast. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, Dahlia Coast is another streamer in my household, AKA my wife. Um, she has been preparing for doing some sewing streams. Um, she's been doing, uh, making masks and caps um, for doctors and other, other people uh, who need protection. Um, so thank you so much, Arissa uh, Dahlia Coast, for helping in this time of need. Really appreciate it. Um, she has also been baking and making bread at home and some crackers last night. Um, so thank you so much for feeding me all this delicious food. It's pretty incredible. Very appreciative. My wife. Very nice. Okay. So... Let's see. Uh, so there's kind of a couple of different things we want to fix here. Is we need to figure out how to filter our list of events to just have one event per day so this calendar looks right. And then we need our actual raw list of events here that can get filtered when I click on a different day. So if you notice, I don't know why this is showing up wrong. So that's something to look at as well. Hello, did I lose my auth session? What is going on? Yeah, so it's interesting when we So maybe the title should just be uh, So I have like event cards. So let's go look at those. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So we have these event cards right here. So right now, where's the dog's name? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> this is confusing. Okay. So I have like one. Okay. I see what's going on here. So I have this, uh, when I originally built this page, I created these event cards, uh, but I've since cr moved them to their own component. So, well, before I do that, let's go ahead and um, save what we have going on here. What did I change in this? So make sure you use Git uh, or any sort of uh, versioning setup um, and make sure you commit your changes early and often. Um, that way if you make a mistake that you can roll back really easily. And it also just makes it really easy for you to understand what you've been doing this whole entire time. Um, so I have some changes I haven't, haven't committed yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up.
and then you want to push as well so it's on the server so if my computer explodes tomorrow I can still access this code it's not lost it's not trapped on my machine so very important all right and then let's see what we did on the calendar view here oh we got a lot of changes so you can see that I was trying to add uh, up update these maps uh, to support our new generic event labels. Um, we're probably going to end up just deleting all this for now. It's a little, a little messy. Um, oh, and it looks like I was creating a method to to get rid of the duplication that we, we have down below as far as taking our events from the database and mapping them to these calendar events. Uh, the calendar component that we're using from Quasar expects uh, data to be in a certain shape, so we have to make sure it complies to that. So that includes this BG color and the icon and the title. So I think, I think what I'll do is I'll commit all this and then um, and then I'm in a bleeding it, but I just want to make sure it's there so that if I do go back and want to build, want to add back support for generic labels, um, generic commit labels that I can go back and reference that code again. Um, but for today, we're trying to really simplify things. So I'm going to end up deleting a bunch of this stuff. So let's pretty much anything that has to do with these maps. We're just going to get rid of, I don't care about these. Uh, we can keep the icon, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to save that over here. So all this is going to be deleted. Woohoo! Nice. This is just going to become primary. This is going to become the no add. Title, I think for now, I think for now we'll just put a timestamp maybe. So event dot timestamp. See what happens there. Oh, I guess we're not hooked up to anything, so it doesn't matter. And then this we don't care about. Looks like I never finished writing this function out. Um, <clears throat> so basically, we can pass in an event from our database, and then we're going to uh, add the BG color icon and title to it. So then we have this kind of new concept of a calendar event. So title, icon, background color, and then the details. Uh, becomes the event comment, uh, the date here. Um, oh, shoot. And then we associate the pet's name. So we probably, we, we need to sh update the event card to have the pet name. But we will worry about that another time. So down, down yonder, 
where we were doing this before, we should just be able to get rid of all this. Let's see what happens. What did I break? Uh oh, I broke something. Cannot read property store of undefined. What? Hmm. But this works. That works. Interesting. What is this used for? I don't know. I have so much stuff in here that I don't understand. Is that for this?
I somehow I somehow muted myself. That's always great. <laughs> How long has that been? <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> oh man. Uh yeah, I've been how long have you been talking about? That's a wonderful question. Way too long. Or not long enough. All the above. Uh, every week I get a little bit better at streaming. Um, trying to trying to get my setup perfect over time. Chat is mostly playing Dota right now. Without me. Yeah, yeah. The, the little Cheyenne, uh, Cheyenne avatars. My favorite is when I'm I'm doing this, and then I realize that the one above me is doing the same thing. I uh, I've been up pretty early, so pretty sleepy today. This highball highball energy is getting me through. Highly recommend. <clears throat> So we're working on Pets Be Honest right now. It's a health tracking app. Is this stream sponsored by Highball? Not yet. Uh, however, I am in talks with them. I figured I should improve some qualities of the stream before I uh, finish up that deal with them. But I do highly recommend them. <laughs> yeah. Y'all can uh, tweet at Highball and let them know. It's funny, I feel like Monster and Red Bull, you see them everywhere on Twitch, but Highball, very underrepresented, so we gotta, gotta make sure that people know about them. It's nice to drink an energy drink that is clean, zero calories, zero sugar, unsweetened. It's good stuff. Gets me through the day. That and lots of coffee. <laughs> So yeah, we're we're working on Pets Be Honest, this uh, health tracking app for pets. Um, yeah, uh, our last stream we worked on the the ad event screen. Um, very inspired by Twitter. Hey, thank you so much for following. What are your thoughts on balls, though? Man, balls. Oh, I'm a sucker for balls. I used to go to QuakeCon every year because I, I lived in Dallas, and they'd always do these balls chugging competitions. Uh, I actually never participated, but I just, I love balls energy. It's so good, so delicious. Let's see, uh, hey, our new event showed up down here. Perfect. So, Highly recommend balls as well, but I don't think it's uh, quite quite high ball, high ball level. Do they where do they sell balls? Can you get balls at Seven Eleven? Where do you get balls in quarantine? What is your favorite quarantine beverage? Important important questions. Oh, nice tea. You do drink a lot of tea, Dahlia Coast. Dahlia Coast is really sweet. She uh, brings me tea every morning. Very thankful. Cortados. Ooh. <laughs> I think uh, I think I can hear Rissa talking to y'all upstairs. Uh, <laughs> that's so awesome. I'm jealous of your espresso machine. I'm not not quite there. We just got a regular old drip coffee machine um, by Zero Jushi. Uh, really, really good. Highly recommend. No, Soda Stream. Ooh, nice. I don't know. Did, like, you went out and bought that, or did you get it as a gift? Yeah, the Soda Stream. Okay. I've, like, been tempted by them, but. Mmm. Fred Moya. Good old Fred Moya. Oh, nice. It's a good deal. I'm like trying to cut back on the soda, but I don't know. It's hard. I have to have at least some uh, millennial water.
So I'm wondering if instead of doing this get events, if I just pass in our pure events, what ends up happening? I want to crash my wife's uh, Zoom call. Unflavored sparkling water is what is Twitch? Drink purple? What <laughs> is this a meme? I don't know. Pog champ. All right, I broke it all. <laughs> So frustrated. It's one little trick we can do here in view. So just do uh Make it easy to view <laughs> on the, oh, okay. I know what's going on here. I know this is so confusing. So basically what's going on is in this calendar component, we are looping through every day and then we're using this t template for the day. And then for each day, we are getting the events, and then for those events, we do this loop. But really, we don't need to do that. Um, we could just do, what if we just do VF We don't need any of this. So what happens there? I break everything. That's what happens. When will you stream couples Dota? Oh my gosh. Best question ever. And I have not soaked any rice yet today. Do I need Dahlia Coast? Is that uh do I need to soak some rice today? Is that what's going on? I'm happy to, to soak the rice. When we're eating sometime, my wife is uh, Thai and makes incredible, delicious food. And one of my favorite dishes is this Thai dish called sumtum, which is papaya salad. Yeah, dog, you got to massage it underwater. Man, you know all of the special tricks. I don't, I don't do any of that stuff. I don't do no massaging. Uh, yeah, so we're talking about doing a couple's Dota stream for any of those who, um, don't know me. Uh, I love Dota. I'm obsessed with Dota. It's my game of choice. Uh, and I've been trying to get Avraham and our friend Helen to play with us. So we should put it on the calendar, do a couple's day. I'm happy to, to stream it. Play against some bots. Very exciting game. All right, cool. So we found a day that we have events. Is that what's going on? No. Oh, yes. Where are you? So events is an array. And every item in the array is our event. OK, cool. Easy. Nothing super special there. Oh no! <laughs> Might be time for a new computer. Okay, so I'm trying to read BG color of undefined. So where do we have BG color here? What? 
What, what, what? Oh, so this badge classes and badge styles. So what do we got going on here? So I think the easiest way to just do this is uh, to revert this to the B4 event index. And it should just work again. If I'm lucky, it does. Let's inspect it. TypeScript, oh, oh, I wish. Uh, TypeScript in view is uh, not fully supported. I mean, it's supported, but kind of, not really, but it is. Uh, and on top of that, I'm using this framework Quasar, and I don't know if they what they have support for or not. Uh, at Microsoft, um, I do use TypeScript. Uh, we, I own a project that's written in Angular 8, and I love it. TypeScript's great. Um, I, I come from PHP and JavaScript where you don't have strict types, um, and so I was really nervous when I was started working in Angular and how to use TypeScript. And it turns out it's amazing because I can progressively enhance my app. Uh, as I feel comfortable, I can leverage the strong typing. And if it gets too complicated, I can just pump the brakes and leave it as is. And then maybe one day when I'm you know ready to embrace some of the more powerful features, I can come back and, and add those. Uh, but one of the best features of TypeScript is... Just a bunch of a bunch of bugs disappear, and more importantly, code completion. So as I'm typing, I now my uh, VS Code in this instance now knows all the possible things I could ever want to type, and will recommend them to me. And it's it's just such a lifesaver. Do you use uh, TypeScript at work? Uh, what was I wanting to look at? Oh, I want to look at the classes of these. Hello, welcome. Okay, so I think it's this text white BG primary full width. Does that look? Text white background primary so it is yeah background primary full width cool I'm just gonna make a note of that over here text white BG primary full width so Yep, the whole app is TypeScript and React where the GraphQL stack, so all queries are typed through to the back end, 100% TS and strict mode. Wow, that sounds pretty awesome. Well, minus the React part. I'm not really a big React fan. Um, just doesn't really map well to my mental model. Um, but that's just me. Uh, but I am very intrigued by GraphQL. I played around with it a little bit using Hasura uh, on a, another project of mine. Um, oh, nice, Ember. Love it. <laughs> I really want to get into Ember. Ember was the first front-end framework where I was like, maybe I should, you know, learn learn this new JavaScript hotness. Because uh, back then I was pretty much doing everything with PHP and jQuery. Um, yeah, I think, I think GraphQL is super exciting. I still haven't fully wrapped my head around how I would leverage it in one of my projects. Um, so I'd be curious to talk to you more about that, maybe offline, or maybe we could talk about it on stream on a different day. I didn't realize that uh, Ember hadn't fully embraced TypeScript at this point, but makes sense. Definitely as a front engineer, it seems like GraphQL is really nice and not have to worry about all the different APIs and endpoints and everything. You just 
give me this data and you get that data. That seems pretty straightforward. The, the back end seems to be a little bit more confusing, at least for me. I'm sure I'll figure out one of these days. All right, so I'm gonna replace Oh, my wife. Hello. Hello, my wife. Can I help you? Oh, I just, I need this pen. Yeah. This cable the needs Apple my pencil? Signature. Huh? This cable needs my signature. Oh, I found a little cool JavaScript thing that would generate a, a PDF that you signed without you actually having to sign it. Cool. But it, but it, looks, it looks real. Oh. Can you stream yourself making sticky rice? We can try. You wanna do it later? Yeah, I mean, it's really not that exciting. It takes it takes all of like a minute to well, make. Well, really, tomorrow we can try to make like some Thai food and stuff. We can do a cooking stream, like uh, Jay Lingstorf. Uh, one of my favorite streamers, really great educator, really good teacher, uh, Jason Lingstorf. Uh, make sure you check him out on, on Twitch, Jay Lingstorf, and Twitter, I think by the same handle. Um, he, in quarantine, has started doing cocktail and cooking streams. So highly recommend checking those out. Uh, Link, uh, let me see. This will be meta. I'm going to Twitch while streaming to Twitch. Uh, J Linksdorf. Here you go, chat. So yeah, so normally he has these learning with Jason bits. So like he was uh, had Shirley Wu to talk about data visualization visualizations, but then the other day he was making some biscuits. Um, what else was he doing? Uh, he has a he has a cocktail stream somewhere on here. Yeah, let's make a cocktail. Yeah, drinking with Jason. Uh, highly recommend. Uh, so Jason is actually based in Portland. Uh, so we should go meet him. He seems like a really cool guy. Um, he attends some some local meetups around there. So maybe next time, once quarantine is up, uh, Arissa and I can, can come down there and we can all, all meet up somewhere. But yeah, maybe we'll do a cooking stream. I actually... So I have a Canon, uh, Canon SL2, which I don't use too much. I just, I got tired of trying to borrow my wife's camera. Um, so I picked this up at Costco. Um, pretty good uh, digital SLR for the price. And Costco had it in a pack with three lenses, which is, you know, pretty awesome. Um, so I got a AC adapter for it. Um, so I can just plug it into a wall and keep it powered. And I'm gonna try hooking this up um, as my main main camera. So, I what I read online is that you can't do clean HDMI. You have to get one of the Elgato adapters. Uh, shout out to Corsair Elgato. Thank you so much for my green screen and uh, the LED light. However, um, there's a little hack. If you hook this up to the USB, um, the little Canon utility that installs on your computer, you can just use that as a window capture and use that to stream, and that's clean. Camlink is indeed sold out. It's uh, all the streaming stuff and, and webcams are pretty pretty popular right now. But I think I can make it work. So we'll we'll experiment with that later. Oh wow, where uh. Other, other than an Amazon and, and the manufacturer's website, where else were you looking for stuff? Oh, eBay and Craigslist, nice. I need to check eBay and Craigslist for um, Herman Miller and Body Chair. I really want one of those, but man, they're expensive. I hear the Sony A series is particularly good for streaming. Yeah, I'm one of those people. <laughs> I I bought I bought that camera, took it to Thailand. It took maybe like two days worth of pictures, and then haven't touched it since. 
Uh, and then what else did I buy? I bought a uh, DJI Osmo gimbal for your phone. Uh, really neat, but I didn't take the time to learn how to use it, and so I tried using it in Thailand and ended up fighting it more. Um, so maybe I'll get around to, to using it. Maybe it'll help us be good good to do a kitchen stream using the gimbal. I'm sure being in quarantine, I'll end up buying a bunch more gadgets that I'll use three times. So hey, maybe I'll, uh, I'll work on them. All right, so I'm in the process of removing these references to the event because we're going to stop looping. Instead, we're just going to do an if. Um, so I need to see what the badge styles are. And actually, we can just look at Chrome and see what styles I pinned it on these. I don't even know if we need these styles, but I'm going to copy them just for later. So we just delete this. Cool. And now if we change this back to the VF. Oh, wow. Uh <laughs> Let's, uh, there we go. Yeah, so Microsoft is really nice. They have what's called their fitness bonus. Um, so you can either do a, a gym membership at a high-end gym nearby the Microsoft buildings, and uh, they'll just pay that for you, or you can take $800 a year. Like OTF, what is OTF? On the phone? O. Taylor Francis? Orange Theory Fitness. Uh, well, so, pro yeah. uh, probably I would do the $800 uh, fitness bonus and apply that, or use that money towards Orange Theory. There's a specific gym that's like one of the fanciest gyms in Seattle. Um, that they'll cover in instead of doing the fitness bonus. Um, I it probably ends up being more a month than the $800 would be. Um, so I elect to stream over. Why is it more, more Dota? More Dota time? Maybe I can end it. But yeah, so I get $800 for fitness. Uh, normally apply it to gym membership and shoes. Um Microsoft, since the quarantine started, allows us to apply that for chairs and desks and other ergonomic things. So, um, But I am being summoned from Dota. We made some progress today. We reduced uh, our calendar to only show a blip if there was an event on that day instead of a blip for every event on that day, which is great. We got rid of a bunch of placeholder code, and um, we wrote a function to map our events um, so that we don't have a bunch of duplicated code. So all in all, I would call that a success. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. Um, you know, f feel free to send me suggestions of what you want me to stream, including cooking and gaming streams. Uh, you can hit me up at Twitter at S P T O N J O H N or in chat. All right, fam. Till next time. Bye. Shout out to Havoc28. Good morning in Australia.